wish I was above the center of attention, but I'm not. I wish I didn't have to give in to the pressure. Oh, oh. Mm. I'm posting pictures, trying to be someone I'm not. It feels just like I'm lying to you. I fake it, stage it, trying to live some perfect life. I know I'm wasting time. Cause I just wanna call my friends and see what they're doing tonight. It doesn't have to be so special. I try to be myself, you do the same and we'll be alright.
Good morning, chat. Oh, boy. I returned at a good time. So, nothing's changed since the last 48 hours I was uh, on the server, right? Nothing, nothing has happened. Um, Flop knows about Bass uh, because there was a PD announcement about it. So obviously he knows about that. Um, that's pretty much all he knows. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Think is gonna be all right oh yeah um flops definitely got feelings i guess we'll uh we'll, we'll play into those as we come to why the fuck are there so many people here something no we're just playing fetch i got gotcha. you you want to join yeah yeah uh let me let me park real quick i'm uh hmm. i'm just going from up north so give me just a second you got any why are there so many people here That'll be something. Hmm. Please, God, I need an IFAC <laughs> and food. Or not. We'll sign out for now. Good job. Charles has a new toy. I see that. I actually, uh, I just got a tennis ball the other day, actually. I still got it on me. Really? Yeah. <gasps> I did. What's up, Charles? You mind if I pet her? Oh. Charles is a boy. Gosh, he's so fast. He's zooming. I know, right? Why is it so quick? Because he runs so much already. Hey, Charles. A lot of practice. Who's a good boy? Oh, there goes Flop's ball. I have your ball. Betty? Go get it. 
not that I want to start off the conversation with this, but do either one of you have something to eat? I have a lot, actually. There you go. I'm not doing good, Chief. <laughs> you got it, Charles. I haven't been able to find anything open. Thank you. Oh, really? Luckily, I had a mailbox packed full of a bunch of food today. Oh. That's a, that's a good thing, right? Yeah. No, not pizza. Pink. No, I don't have any pizza. Well, maybe I do. Hold on. Do you need food, Charles? Okay. Let me get you something. Why is it all gray? Because we're going unmarked. <gasps> oh. But you We're still have hunting. your call sign on to all. Oh. Yeah, it's because I, I mean, You want honestly, some micro people, platter? People will notice it's a cat. <laughs> nice, that's anyway. true. Have you know. seen Charles's new ball? I have not. Did he steal it from the vault? No! no. Wait, what? Well, maybe he did. I don't know. Uh, Wait, what, did, are you accusing him of robbing the vault? I've seen several dogs matching this description at various robberies. Daddy's a dog. I actually recall a warrant at one point. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Charles' criminal might have profile sent says him to jail one time. Says handle oh. with extreme caution, dangerous criminal. Norman Adams probably wrote that. <laughs> Calls him a menace. <laughs> look, oh, look at, look at him! Look, look at his little tail. Look, look. Right, well, you're 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 a pretty cute, dangerous criminal. Look at his little ball. We're all about to die. Little, little ball. Throw, throw his ball. Throw the ball. Oh. No take. Only throw. And throw it over there. All right, here you go, Charles. There you go. He's zooming. Damn, that is a fat. That dog is faster than most of our canines. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Cause he's so little. Wow. Oh, okay. Hey, you you'd probably make a pretty good canine, especially since you already got the information for it. Hey, doing, Bundy? Yeah, doing all right. Hey, baby. I'm gonna throw it again, okay? This will be the last time. You guys I need help with the UM stuff? Uh, yeah. We're currently hunting suspects related to. Oh, should we leave everything then? Everything that has been happening this week. Well, indulge me, cause. You talk about this week, I took a 48-hour fucking hiatus, and it hasn't even been a full 48, and I'm here. And this place looks like fucking Grand Central. And I'm all out of the loop, so I'm I'm not sure what's going on. We've got primary suspects being uh, members of CG uh, in relation to various bombings that have occurred. Uh, we have got a serial killer or set of serial killers. Hi, guys. And Hi. Fortune, I think, who are stalking medical staff currently. Uh, particularly, we're on the look He thinks look we're shams and charlatans. Miguel, Kay, Rami, and... Yeah. And we don't even know if all of this shit is fucking related. Yeah. Um... All I know is I saw the, uh, our email chain announcement. Um, you want to, fuck. I want to no, ride around no, and debrief I, I don't. you, but I, I, I don't want to either. Um, no, that's fine. Um, well, I'm a detective supervisor now. As you should be. Wow. Congratulations. I'll give you the bird's eye view. The bird's eye view is that uh, before Carmine and Sh oh go ahead. Is she okay? No, but we've told her stubborn self that any help she needs, we're there for her. And kind of the best we can do is put the bumpers up at the bowling alley and let her roll down towards the pens for a little while, you know? Yeah. He, uh. Go. Oh my god. No. 
as much as him and I went back and forth, we, I, I had a lot of respect for him. And uh, oh, he was a he was a, he's a frustrating son of a bitch who did some dumb shits, who worked an impossible job and still maintained nothing but positivity and hope for the people he worked with. So, well, he sure as shit inspired me to do better. So I yeah. I can't uh, yeah. I can't knock him for that. I just, you know, I worry too much about everyone else, but I, I do, I do care to make sure that everyone's okay. Can I ask why literally everybody is here? Uh, okay. Bird's eye view. Um, this is part of the bird's eye view. Uh huh. K and Carmine have a beef going back all the way to the 18th of June. I won't bore you with the details, but they've been shooting, bombing and kidnapping each other constantly. Uh, this escalated two days ago whenever uh, Kay told Carmine to meet him at the SDSO. Then two unknown individuals planted a bomb on the roof of SDSO, uh, rendering it uh, uninhabitable. Uh, there was an attempt to shift blame to Carmine for having planted that bomb. Carmine and Kay were both taken into custody. Can I... Carmine... Uh, Carmine who? Costello, former cop... You're Her fucking DOC. joking. Nope. Man, don't do too good for this world. Kay and Carmine both taken into custody. About 40 minutes later, a second bomb is placed after 911 demanding that we release Carmine. That one's placed at Mission Row. Uh, Bison was going to attempt to defuse the bomb. Uh, Bass told him to not do that and instead brought Kay to the roof because Kay was going to attempt to defuse the bomb because Kay is quote unquote an expert. K did not attempt to defuse the bomb. He turned and hugged Bass and said uh, something along the lines of, at least we'll go out together. The bomb detonated, uh, incapacitating and injuring all three people, Bison, K, and Bass. The upper flo floor of Mission Row is currently untenable, and apparently the structural damage goes down to the garage. Um... Bass did not survive the explosion, so that's one commissioner and two police departments down. Um, so by process of elimination, it's PBS over this. Yep. This was all within the last 48? Uh, this building was also bombed today as well, but it was fortunately a smaller explosion that only took out the windows. Well, that explains the uh, tape inside that I saw. Yeah. So, I've already started subpoenas. I've got a decent amount of information. You and I both know how these fucking bombs are in pretty great detail. Yeah. Um, so, like, usually the best phrasing is throw shit at a wall until something sticks because it's kind of hard to have a backtrack. Yeah, it's going to be virtually impossible. Outside of the cell phone bombs on the cars, it's, it's virtually impossible to prove who planted these I'm things. I'm not even on duty. Who the fuck is calling me? So. Give me a minute. I got to play dumb for a second. Hey, any chance I could uh, call you right back? Of course you can, sweetheart. Oh, gee. How did you get my number? Oh, Fucking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to compound the problems that we're currently having, uh, the fate serial killer, who originally was the Monopoly one. Uh, they are targeting medical professionals and basically circling the hospital like sharks. And then anytime there's not a cop there, they go up, at, go in and hold a doctor at gunpoint. Um, yeah, they're getting brave. I keep telling Scully that at some point they're going to be super dumb and we're going to catch them in their tracks. So I'll be on. I'll be honest with you. If the operation against them was more organized, I was going to suggest that I just kill one of them. Uh, but unfortunately, the operation being held against them right now is so disorganized that I just couldn't stand being on the radio anymore, so I left. Yeah, I tried to give some authority, and 
every time there's a search party, it's like headless chickens running around the city for God yeah. knows what. So a lot of the times I've been taking a backseat and telling Scully that if she needs further assistance with tools that we have within the PD, i.e. Air One Thermals, every time you respond to a crime scene because they like to overlook it, please let me know and I will be the loud voice to make it happen. So I'm waiting for her word on that, but in Scully's mind right now, last I spoke with her, there is quote unquote, no lead. And I told her that this person is getting obviously braver and braver by the day. And that at some point they are going to get caught red handed. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll be honest, uh, if we have an individual who's kidnapping and torturing people or whatever, then, uh, cause didn't this person like remove organs from somebody or something? I don't know. There was some... Something happened. There was a... God, I don't even know. I, I don't... Yeah, just, I, I don't I'm even just know. Gonna, I'm just gonna put a bullet in their head. Do you? Do we have a name of who we think this could be? Uh, They've got one. Diasmos, I think, is who they think one of the two is. Okay. <clears throat> but... I don't know do your... shit, unfortunately, without a phone number. No. Yeah. There's your bird's eye view. Uh, we're going to be doing bi-weekly or bi-monthly meetings for MCU. Mm -hmm. uh, we just had one today, but there should be a chance to kind of catch up on everything that's going on the next time we've got one. They're going to be on Mondays, I think. Okay. I'm going to speak to Lucy so we can wrap up the uh, Seaside Docket post for DT. Hopefully move past that real quick. Unfortunately, Leonova left us with that dumpster fire. So that was very sweet. Brian's current directive, and I agree with him, is that uh, if you have a case that is a dumpster fire or is not worth pursuing, then if we can wrap it up by getting a docket posting going, do it. If it's not worth the time and effort, drop it and refocus on these explosives. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll tell Lucy if we're finalized, because we put about six hours of discovery in a report where... 85% of the PC we needed is not there. We've articulated the charges properly. Having an MCU circle sit down on what would have been an actual seven hour individual job between going through statements and getting charges correct, four or five of us sat in a circle and got that done in about an hour or two. So as long as Lucy and the prosecutor is willing to push it to the docket, we can get this over with. Uh, what we're asking for for DT is pretty fucking minimal. I just want it done and over with. And I'm hoping that hopefully our priorities can go into this. Okay. So. All right. I need to get on this hunt with them. Um, Who's all but, rocking it right now? Uh, Bayo, Brian, Kovacic, me. We're basically trying to track these individuals down and find common locations and just tail them. Um so uh we've got an order of operations we know who we want to pull in first but unfortunately the person we want to pull in first is in icu now so could i ask uh who that would be uh carmine he's the weak link <laughs> really i couldn't pull that one out of a fucking hat yeah, yeah. <laughs> who could have guessed who would have thought the weakest link out of a gang would be Carmine Costello? It wasn't like he was PD's weakest link from the fucking start. Right. Jesus Christ, Carmine. Okay. Well, <laughs> when the interrogation happens for that, obviously let me know. I'm more than willing to help out. I want to uh I want to link up with Tessa and just talk to her real quick. But right. well, you, you guys operating on a separate channel? Uh, we're on seven. Okay. When I get on duty, I'll I'll hop on seven. Do you know if uh, MRPD is at least uh, the, can, the the upper parking lot is enterable? The personal parking lot is enterable. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, we'll make sure I, I I at least have something. Yeah. All right. I'll see you out there in a few. Holy fuck! You know, on my list of shit to happen, that definitely. Went a little further than I thought it was going to. Hey, Charles.
Hello. Hey. I was just getting the, uh, for lack of a better term, the TLDR version. You guys, let me know if you need anything, hey. okay? Sounds good. Thank you, Kiki. Sounds good. Good Love to see you. Ya. I, uh, Charles, oh. I will make you stick around if you don't wanna. Thank you very much for stopping by, though. I'm glad I got to throw your ball. Okay, I think he wants to sit with us. That's fine. Is Charles a snitch? I don't know. Bye, all. I don't think so. Goodbye. I, uh, I, I was just catching up with Bundy real quick. And, uh... Gonna be honest, I'm still confused. I couldn't have picked a worse time to leave. I'm, uh, sorry that you weren't here. I'm sorry you had to find out kind of late. Yeah. Um, I saw the announcement in our email chain, and I didn't really know how to take it. It still confuses me. Um, I could spare the finer details, but I, I had a lot of motivation, a lot of motivation from him to do better. I think a lot of people did. Yeah. And from the sounds of it, it sounds like nobody could just settle on one PD. It, they're apparently going for what them all at this point. So, hey, if the message wasn't sent the first time, let's do it more. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, I haven't really had an opportunity to sit this and think it through and think about things I wanted to say to people or think about how I wanted to feel about it all. Um, I'm putting the badge to the side for, the, for at least a minute while I say this and talk to you as Tessa and not talk to you as my boss.
the amount sacrificed for the job is one thing. But obviously the... The coping... The... The morning... Sort of everything that's been going on. And you've probably heard it a hundred times over. But I would hope you'd be willing to reach out if you ever need any anything. I know. I've had a lot of people say that in the last few days. And I'm working on uh, doing it. I'm going to be honest with you, I was I was at the liquid library about to get some drinks again and Kiki stopped me she called me and asked if I could come see Charles so I'm trying not to choose the destructive solutions, but it's really hard not to. I know. Trust me, I know. And I know that you are going to continue to give it your all. I know. And I know I have a lot of people I've uh, found out that I've, I've had the same conversation with like seven or eight people at this point, and you know, they all mean well, and I know that. It's all kind of going in circles, though. So, that's kind of why I found myself wanting to be alone a little bit. I know I have people there. But I also know I can't... Can't really be normal right now. And... I know I'm not. I know I'm not. But... I don't want to burden people with things at the moment. Any more than they already are. But. I know it's gonna be okay. But for right now it's not. I think that's okay. It is okay. Trust me, I, I, it's, it's okay. I was definitely not okay earlier. Some people threw a, a parade. Celebrating it. 
And, uh, was, I was just leaving my house for the day. And, um, I saw some water stuff happening and I, I just was drinking and walking here. Bundy and Lennon found me and I just felt really guilty. I'm just trying not to drag people down with me, is all. I understand. I, uh... Like you've stated already, you had this conversation with, at this point, probably a dozen people. I realize I'm late. Um... I don't want to run you around in circles. And like I've stated to you on a lot of other occasions. And I mean this. You will never be a heavy weight on my shoulders if you ever needed anything. The PD? And she said, no, not really. Then you have always been there for me. If you, ever want to try, always put an application. you have supported me. You've put a lot of responsibility into me. And I truly owe you a lot. And it does not feel like work to owe it back to you. And it will never be work to owe it back to you. However, you... You continue? How's it going? What's going on? Uh, wrapping up my shift. I'm gonna go put the bike back. I'm gonna just leave my rat truck here. I'm not really in the mood to make a third run to get a car. That's fine. I'll, I'll move it for you. All right. Or if you just want to have, you know, local toes, come get it. I'll take care of it for you. Thanks. How are you, how are you both holding up? Uh, we're just having a conversation right now. Okay. Well, I'll leave you to it. I don't want to interrupt. Thank you so much. Not that I needed that right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I figured it would happen if we sat here long enough. Yeah. Respectfully speaking, I don't give a shit what anyone says. This is our home, so I'm sitting on my on my doorstep. If anyone has a problem with that, they can take it up with my boss. <laughs> um. I mean what I say, though. Pixie, it is not the fucking time. Uh... 
Um, just to, I guess, wrap up what I was saying. Uh, however you mourn, however you get better. I don't want to stop you. Just know if you ever feel like you're needing somebody, obviously. Put it on repeat because I'm probably number 12, but you know. You're not number 12. You're somebody that's, um, really important. Today was <laughs> supposed to be really happy. It was supposed to be a little more meaningful. You're one of the most important people. I don't have many people in my circle. But I do know you're always there. I said today was supposed to be important. A little bit more special. And now the moment's ruined. Don't worry about this. It's fine. I just wanted you to have it. If you want it. I'm going to ask you a question that I once asked Ziggy before joining this department. Do you... How do I ask this? Can you trust me with this? Big dummy, I wouldn't have given this to you if I didn't. I trust you. I made up my mind before I went on my vacation. I wanted to see how you did. And you went well above and beyond. And actually, um, when I got back, I had a, a line of people telling me that you deserved a promotion and I just kind of had to wave him away and say I already know and I had planned before you went on your LOA to do something special today 
sorry, I can't. I promise that we'll make it a better event. Um, another time. We can do a, a formal promotion. You don't have to take it right away. But it's there. He approved it. I thought you'd want to know. You should take the badge. You earned it. You don't want it, that's okay. I know it's a burden. It's not. I, uh... I'm gonna be... brutally honest. Um... I was not expecting that at all. And for what it's worth, I don't think that there is a ceremony big enough to hold the weight of how much that means to me. do um the old ceremony what would that be take you up a mountain and feed you to a lion kind of need me now. Yeah. Sure, we could come up with something a little different. If it matters to you, I'll plan something for sure. And if you want to um, announce it or or do it in the meantime. Um, it's there for you. Uh, or we could wait until you want to actually take the role. It's up to you. I don't know if you need a break or time. There is no doubt in my mind that I, uh, <clears throat> it would be an honor, and I will not turn it down. Um,
for what it's worth. As long as you don't see an issue with it, I would feel maybe more to come to to at least get on duty today and get back into the swing of things before I announce it. It's up to you. Take your time with it, or um, I can do something formal when you're ready. Do something as simple as having it done at the meeting if you want, or um, anything. I want you to approach it however you want. As long as you know that the way you just proposed it is more meaningful than any announcement or ceremony you could do. Well, you did earn it, and I want you to know that you've earned it for a while. There was a couple things I wanted to make sure you were ready for, and that you could handle, and you've handled them very well. Um, and I think you will make a great sergeant. And I'm really lucky to have you. You really stepped up for me when I needed somebody to. So thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. If uh, there's ever anything that you feel I should change or focus on or improve on I'd like to know but that can come at a later time because there's always room for improvement yeah but you're doing fantastic so I don't have any um stuff I'm worried about I just wanted to make sure that you were ready for it, because it's hard. It's a lot of politics, I've come to learn. you again. You're welcome. And you're welcome to tell anybody. I'll, I'll keep it quiet until you're ready. May I join you? Of course. Yeah. Move the mic. I do have one uh, question, Tessa. Mm-hmm. Does anyone else know? Um, there were a couple people that I mentioned it to. 
I obviously had to get everything approved. Uh, I think Kiki knew. And I think I told Bison. He, he doesn't know that I did it, but he knew I was going to. So, High Command and Bison. And Kiki. Oh! Oh, yes. But it's yours to share. I won't spread it anymore. I'm not in the car. Okay. According to my ranger science, that blood belongs to Rami El Rama. Oh my god. Should arrest him. How are you three doing up here? Doing good. Yeah. Well, as, as good as you can be. Good under the circumstances. Yeah. Just catching up. What the hell is that up there? I gotta go turn off these dang things. I'll be right back. 